it's Bubba here. Today, I got another quick tip to keep you in the driveway. I mean, out on the road, not in, anyway. This tip's how to change the oil in your car. Now, a lot of you in asking, Bubba, how do I change the oil in my car? Cause it really ain't that typical, folks. But I'm gonna give you these three quick tips to keep you from making mistakes. Tip number one, get you the right kind of oil. Now this is a Rain-X 2-in-1 all season. This I personally recommend is my favorite. Tip number two, locate your reservoir for oil. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's dry. That don't look too good. Well, we'll fix that. All right, next thing you're gonna do, take a cap off this. Oh, right there. Shut it. Now, next thing you can do, see if you can't spill it everywhere. Oh. Yeah. This ain't working. Step number three, fish out the cap that you dropped earlier. It, oh, it's, it's stuck. Uh, got it. Now, once you found it, you can just throw it away. Now do it, folks. That's how you change the oil in your car. Well, guys. My motor won't crank over now. <sighs> I'm gonna sue this company. Cause folks, this stuff is junk. It's junk. They're, they're, they're facing a lawsuit, you know? I mean, I spent all this money on this car and this oil don't even work. That's a rip off. That's a rip off. <sighs> I'm suing. That's what I'm gonna do. All right guys, so. I finally found out that this is really where you put your battery fluid. So we're going to change the battery fluid today. We're just going to take this off and voila. You guys can see down there. Looks beautiful. All right, you're going to shake your cap down anywhere. Make sure you lose that because, you know, you don't. You don't want to lose that, so make sure you set it down somewhere like like that. You don't want to fall like that, so just set it right there. That way, you won't forget about it. All right, here we got our battery fluid, and take cap off it, and wall off. You can oh wait, what's up with that? Ah, you see that? I did old taparoo. All right, you're gonna peel this back and voila. Now, some people like to use this to show you don't lubricate your engine. I personally don't like it cause if, if you get the fluid everywhere, like here you can see I lubed up the engine real good. And here, you know, it's, it's not very fun. But it's personal preference. I wouldn't use it if I were you especially since I'm a professional, but either, either way, you can do it however you choose. Now here, we got our, our battery filter. Now this, it's gonna help keep the voltage. It's gonna keep the voltage up. At our, it's gonna keep about six volts, which is what these cars like. Six, six and a half volts is what we're, we're aiming for. So just get it like that and We'll see if we can't stick some battery fluid in there. All right, so we got her filled up. Now, next step, get a little bit of oil on your finger and lube up this shield. This will make sure it doesn't leak. All right, like that. Now, next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna see if you can finagle and wiggle. Finagle and wiggle right down there, right by this exhaust. 
see if we can do. All right, so we got her down there. We're going to see if we can't get her on there. Oh, look at her. All right, so some, some amateur mechanics, they think they're so fancy buying these torque wrenches and torquing them to some golden speck where it's not going to leak and it's going to keep your engine running good. But y'all know me, I'm the real professional and you know, you just do it by feel. Once you've been doing it for, for tens of decades and centuries, you know, you just get a feel for what to torque it to. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you guys. You want to take it like this and just torque it till your elbow clicks. See? Right there. You hear that click? Here, I'll, I'll do it again for you. Right there. The elbow clicking mechanism is going to Folks, the last step into getting your battery back to normal is to fill it up. Now, fill it up until it looks like it's happy. You usually hear it gurgling. Now, you know you know it's happy when it gurgles. Folks, if you made it this far, you know it's the last step. Last step? Throw all your junk somewhere. That's what I like. Make sure. Makes for a good storage capacity. And see, I even got my cap. Tighten that down till it strips. Then back it off. Next, make sure you got all your junk nice down in there so it won't get in the way. Last step. Shut the lid. Looks good. That is Bubba approved. Oh wait. Now, folks, there you have it. One job well done. That is how you do a battery change and that's how you do... Man, I look good. Oh, I that's how... That's how you do battery filters, battery fluid, and oil fluid change. Now, for this day's sponsor, we got Master Flip Flops. This right here keeps you going on the job. This flip flop even has a tow cooling system that is unlike any other. It also got a release function in case you need to get a quick disconnect. I just want to let you know these flip flops for tried and true. They even bend really good. That way if you got tinkulitis, it helps. These are Bubba approved. Thanks to Flip Flop Special for sponsoring this video. And let me know what video you want to see next. Now see you later. Oh wait, you thought you was done with the video. But no, I'm back. We're here in the car. The last step is the most crucial step of all. Will it start? I'm here in the car. We see the door. We see the key. We see the steering wheel. Will it start? No, we don't want WBGL. Will it start? And it cranks right over, folks. That is what I call a job well done. Um, Papa? Did you train the fluid first? Uh, wait, what, what, what do you mean? Uh, <coughs> what's that smell? Is that burnt plastic? That don't smell, folks, that don't smell too good. What, what's that smell? Uh-oh.